morning, dear friends. Today we're going to be talking about the parts of a frog, and then you're going to have an opportunity to label your own frog, the parts of a frog. Okay, so let's talk about the parts of a frog. So skin, it lets water in and out. How frogs can breathe and drink water. Skin. Next is the tympanum. The tympanum is the eardrum for a frog. It is a circle that is located on either side of the head behind the eye. You can see that, the tympanum. The forelimb legs, short and weak, they prop up body and break fall from jump so otherwise known as the front legs hind legs strong and long these five webbed toes for swimming and jumping do you see them look at how big these back legs are hind legs are the back legs they're what really propel the frog forward. Vocal sacs for croaking, but males only. Look at that, it's huge. That's why they can get so loud and you can hear them from far away. Nostrils for breathing air at Top of the head, so you find them at the top of the head, just under the eyes, the nostrils, to smell with. So now that we talked about the parts of a frog, let's look at a diagram of some of the parts of a frog. Okay, so here is a diagram of some of the parts of the frog, okay? We have the belly, it's pointing right here, the underbelly, okay? We have the leg, is here, the webbed feet, the vocal sac under here, and that line right there, that's the mouth. Little hole right there, nostril. And of course, those are the eyes. Okay, now you're going to label your own frog, parts of a frog. Okay, so for the, let's label the frog, you're going to need this page and this page. This one has three sets of labels. You only need the first set, but these are just in case you need some spares. So all you need to do is first just cut off this top section, and you can save this part if you need one, if you um, mess up or you lose one, okay? Then you're gonna cut all of these out. Okay, so now you have all of your labels cut out. You can do it that way easier because then you can put glue on the empty boxes and just place them on. Or if you know which specific part is which, like I know that's the nostril, I would just cut out the nostril and then glue it to that box. So once you have all of these out, you can begin to place them on the correct boxes and glue them down. So you have all of the parts of the frog labeled. Then when the glue is dry, you may color your frog super colorful, Maybe you wanna do the red eyes, yellow dots, and a green body, and yellow fingers, or I mean yellow toes, and make it beautiful. Have fun with it. Bentley, do you like frogs? Yeah, one more, give me five. Yeah, frogs are cool.